Okay, so this is question 9, the last question on paper 1. And it says, an open top box is cut from a sheet of cardboard with dimensions as shown. A square of side x centimeters is cut from each corner. So the first question says, write down the length of the side of the box in terms of x. Alright, well, the length is 40. That's before the, cor the, the squares were taken out. Okay, So 40 is going to lose an x here. It's going to lose an x here. So it's 40 minus 2x. All right, so it's 40 minus the two x's, while the width is 24, and it loses an x and an x here. So the width is 24 minus 2x. So part okay. C says, write down an expression in x to represent the volume of the box. Well, the volume of any box is going to be the width multiplied by the length multiplied by the height. Okay, so let's have a look at our diagram again. The width is going to be 40, or sorry, the length is 40 minus 2x. The width is 24 minus 2x, and the height, how high is that going to fold up? Well, that's going to be just 1x in height, isn't it? Okay, so multiply, we're going to multiply 40 uh, minus 2x multiplied by uh, 24 minus 2x multiplied by x, okay? And to do this, you just don't go, so 40 multiplied by 24 multiplied by x, all right, so you end up with 960 minus 80x minus 48x plus 4x squared. Uh, all of that is multiplied by x. Okay, so multiply everything by x, and you're going to get 960x minus 80x squared minus 48x squared plus 4x cubed. All right. It shouldn't surprise us that a cubed appears in volume question because volume is measured in centimeters cubed. So that's where that cubed comes from. Or you can another way of thinking it is three dimensions. So three for three dimensions. Okay. So then we just got to add the likes and the likes. So we've got 960x. Uh, that's going to become... So subtract 48 from minus 80 and you're going to get 960x minus... 128x squared uh, plus 4x cubed. Okay, and there you have that there. Okay, and that's it represented. Alright, so part D is a bit of a long one, so bear with me. Find correct two decimal places the value of x that will maximize the volume of the box. Okay, this is a bit of a snaky calculus question because if you are going to find the maximum volume. If you remember from calculus that if anything ever, if you're looking for the maximum value, you differentiate first and you let it equal zero. So I'm going to differentiate the formula that I had. So I had 4x cubed minus 128x squared uh, plus 960x. Right? I'm going to differentiate that and I get 12x squared minus 256x. Sorry, minus 256x plus 960. Okay. Just to make life a little bit easier, you can different or you can divide across by four, and you're going to get three x squared minus sixty four x plus two hundred and forty. Okay, and now we have a quadratic formula, and don't forget that we're letting it equal zero, which means we can solve for x. So in this particular quadratic, as far as I can see, there is no way to factorize. Okay, based on the answers that I get as well, there's no way to factorize. So let's have a look, right? So A is going to equal 3, B is going to equal minus 64, and C is going to equal 240. So yes, you've guessed it. We're using the minus B formula, plus or minus the square root of B squared minus 4AC all over 2A. All right, so minus B is going to be plus 64, because I'm subbing a minus number into where there's a negative already, so two negatives make a positive plus or minus the square root of 64 to be, or minus 64 to be squared, minus 4 times 3 multiplied by 240, okay, all over 2 times 3, okay. So, it's a long one, guys, but it's fairly straightforward. So, 64 plus or minus the square root of 64 squared gives me 4096, uh, minus... 2880. All of that, 2 times 3 is going to be 6. So it becomes 64 
plus or minus the square root of 1, 2, 1, 6 divided by 6. Okay. Now what we can do here is simplify uh, the square root of 1, 2, 1, 6 and when you put that into your calculator you get 64 plus or minus 8 root 19. All of that is divided by 6. Okay. And so we're going to split this up into a positive sum, 64 plus 8 root 19 divided by 6 and 64 minus 8 root 19, hence where we have plus or minus, so we're going to split it up into a plus and a minus divided by 6. And when you put these into your calculator, you get 16.48 and 4.86, okay? It says find correct two decimal places, they're both to two decimal places there, okay? So there are two values for x that will satisfy that equation, all right? And that's paper one.